Hello everyone and welcome! Now I'm really excited for today's video because we'll be upgrading our PS5 DualSense controller with the Extreme Raids Rise Remap Kit which essentially adds back buttons to your controller. So we'll do an unboxing and installation of this kit and at the end of the video I will demonstrate the benefits of having back buttons, so stay tuned. The kit contains a redesigned back shell, ribbon cables and remap board, all the necessary tools and screws and the K1 and K2 back buttons attachment. The new backplate is also made of a really comfortable soft touch material. So let's start with disassembling the DualSense controller. First we have to remove the front face plate which will reveal two screws at the bottom side of the controller. Then we have to remove the L1 and L1 buttons, there are two more screws underneath them. Now we can pry open and gently separate the two parts of the controller. Next we have to unscrew few more screws. We can remove and disconnect the battery and remove the screw that's holding the battery tray. There's also a tiny ribbon cable that you have to disconnect. Four ball ribbon cables have to be removed. With that done, we can leave the main controller board, which will reveal this conductive film, then we can install the main flex cable that comes with the rice kit. Carefully align the two conductive pads and we are almost done. The next step is to replace the two ribbon cables that connect the L1, L2 and R1, R2 buttons. The replacement ribbon cables are also provided with the kit. Now we can reassemble the controller and reconnect all the ribbon cables.
the main flex cable can be installed firmly on the battery and then we can connect the R1, R2 and L1, L2 ribbon cables. Let's grab the custom back plate and install the K1 and K2 back buttons. The whole back button assembly is held with 4 screws. The K1 and K2 buttons just click into place and they are installed just like that. can then put together the front and back plates of the controller. The last step is to connect the custom rise remount board. And with the back cover plate installed, we are almost done with the installation process and we can reassemble the controller. So this is the final result guys. The custom soft touch backplate is certainly my favorite design that Extreme Rate offers and with the back buttons installed it feels really comfortable as well. To start setting up the remap kit, you have to press and hold the remap mode button for 3 seconds. A red light will turn on, which means we've entered the settings mode. For this instance, I want to remap the X button to the K1 button. I simply have to press and hold the two buttons together for 3 seconds and the red light will flash 3 times. Then I can assign the circle button to the K2 button. Again, press and hold the two buttons together for 3 seconds. To exit the setting mode, press and hold the mode button for 3 seconds until the red light turns off. Now guys, I want to point out some of the benefits of having back buttons. In Fortnite for example, if I want to access the build function, I have to move my thumb away from the right thumbstick and press the circle button. 
but that leaves me with no control over my character and I can't use the thumbstick to look around for enemies for example. While using the back button I can access the build menu and still use the thumbstick to look in any direction. You can see how this can be helpful in many situations and as we know in player versus player games every millisecond matters. So that's it for this video guys, you can find the link to Extreme Raid store in the video description. They also offer tons of products and accessories for the PS5 and PS4, Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S and Nintendo Switch as well. Thank you all for watching and see you guys next time.